guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 4 of Tribe 9. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go, that's better. They really killed him. Kanaka! I know, because he was just here! <sighs> kadaka, Kadaka, Kadaka. Are you fucking kidding me? There's a reason why he decided to kill off Shun. Because he either wants Haru or Taiga to take Shun's place. And I understand that. I have no problem with that. But, like, damn... He couldn't die, like, at the halfway point of the show? Like, oh, sir! But then, okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. But then this also wonders. It makes you wonder so fucking much. He's still alive in the game. So, Kadaka, what are we doing here? They would title this episode that. It's so mean. Oh. Oh, Saudi. How can she relax? What else can you do? She would have worried anyway, which is what she's doing now. Mm. He so possibly would have perished with it. Oh, 
Exactly. Hmm? Now of all times, of course. And let me guess, you want her to join you. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly, you know, our emotions. Oh, shit. Oh! Holy shit. Oh, well, at least you're giving her sweets. Hell yeah, you gotta put something in it. Of 
course. <laughs> yeah, we at least have to go get her. know about this But he knew in his heart. He wasn't coming back! Like, ah! Uh. We're really doing this. Yeah, food. You have no choice. Now I wonder if it's going to be like the freaking first trailer that came out for the game. Is somebody going to have like a motorcycle type bot? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is so messed up! Oh god. That's a distraction. Oh my god. I know, we all miss him, but like, ah, like seriously, Kanaka, you really had to do that? No, let me guess. It's a part of the rules. This is so messed up. This is cheating. But of course, it's a part of the game. So in a way, it's not cheating. And you are?
Right? Yeah, can you? Yeah, might as well just start all over. Those look like platforms. So you're telling me they're using the manholes to freaking go through and cheat that way? And that's how they used to cheat. He's cute. I will say that. He he does give you like the shun vibes and such. So he could be kind of related to shun in like a way because he kind of acts like him and somewhat. His hair, it like the, uh, not very much the way it's styled. But when you look at both characters, you're like, yeah, y'all kind of look familiar and such are very similar to, to each other and everything. So I, I don't know. I mean, but he's cute. Like, come on now. But he kind of really like, reminds me. He he reminds me, like, with his intelligence, he, he straight up, like, gives me feels towards Doctor from Aquadama Drive. But, um, several other fucking characters from the Danganronpa series that I, I literally cannot name off the, off the bat my, right, ugh, right now. Maybe, oh my god. What was the nurse's name? It's been so long since I've played Dunk and Robot Miku? Mikan? I think it was Mikan. That's her name. Um, Because we all found out how intelligent that bitch was when, you know, her ish came out and how she was doing it for her beloved and ish. But he seems like he might be a good asset for the group and something that they need since Shun is now no longer with us and stuff. We're, I think we're still going to have Shun in more flashbacks from now, really going on to episode 5, to... Excuse me, sorry, oh my gosh. To the end of the series, when we get to, like, the final episode and such, but... 
it makes me wonder now, especially, especially, I cannot speak. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, especially when the, um, the webtoon comic of this comes out. It's supposed to be a completely different story from this. So is it going to be like, is Shun going to die also in that version? So it's like, which one is, uh, like, canon? That's the thing. Kanaka? Like, and of course, he's not going to answer that question until we get closer and closer to the game and such. He might be like, oh, both of them are canon, one of them is canon, whatever, and such. But freaking... Freaking Shun in the freaking trailer. He's in the trailer for the game. So it's a lot of unanswered questions with this. But it makes you still wonder what else is this new kid going to bring to the group. Not only with intelligence is he going to bring like a certain personality that these care these group of like band of misfits or friends in a way need after having their leader, you know, cut off because like it's. I really thought Kanaka was not going to kill him, but it's it just, <laughs> ah, like, <laughs> last week I'm like, is he dead? We really doing this again? Oh my god, like, damn. I was like, three episodes and we killed this dude! But, like, even the flashback of seeing, like, how he was about to beat the crap out of one of his teammates and saying that, oh, hey, XB needs to be bloody. And that's what he used to be like to what he is now, where he's very kind, sweet, and gentle up until his demise. And it makes you, I kind of want to see more of him being like deliciously evil in some way. And I hope we get to see that more in flashbacks. But I mean, the episode was very sweet. Yeah, it was sad. The fact that Shun is no longer with us. I, I feel for everybody in this group. I do hope this new kid brings still, once again, a little bit more to the group and such but of course we're not going to know until we get to episode five okay next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode four of tribe nine if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday for episode five bye guys